Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, when William Samuel Ruto was campaigning in this country, he was telling the youth, the woman whom we refer to Mama Mboga, and anyone who cared to listen to him, that he is going to form or make the hustlers government. A government for the hustlers. A government where everyone will be treated equally. A government for the poor. A government that will involve everyone in decision making or even formation. That was the ground on which William Ruto was campaigning and wooing the youth in this country. And we understand as of now the position of William Samai Ruto after Chebukati declaration is president elect. In case this the court the Supreme Court is going to notify this election, then that position will just change to a presidential candidate. That's the truth. And yesterday, William Ruto together with the Kenya Kwanza leadership, they were in Nakuru County somewhere, in a function. And the people that William Samaruto referred to as the hustlers, one man from the crowd walked out, walked towards William Samaruto with a file which he intended to hand over to him. But the way that man was treated by the security around William Samuel Ruto, the reaction from William Ruto and the body language from Rigathe Gashagwa is showing the difference between William Samuel Ruto who was campaigning, meeting Mamamboga and even stopping security from Stopping people to reach out to William Samuel Ruto. The security were trying to block Ruto. <laughs> he was telling them, what You have seen the difference between Rigata Gachagua who was campaigning and the now Rigata Gachagua as deputy president elect. I want you to watch this video shortly. Then, after this, we are going to continue with this conversation just to see how the hustler was treated in the hands of the chief hustler himself, as he referred to himself. You know, it's pretty serious, huh? Now we are continuing with our panel discussion, but just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you're not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and any on drop comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give our video thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, Wakili Wahome Tuku was among the Kenyans who reacted to the treatment of the hustler in the hands or presence of the chief hustler himself, William Samuel Ruto. And Wahome Tuku has an advice to the youth and those people who think that they are hustlers, <laughs> to the entire hustler team. Wahome Tuku has advice for you. And uh, this is what Wahome Tuku said. Time for massaging hustlers is over. Time for shaking hands with hustlers, lifting up their little babies on the car rooftop in rallies and giving them mic to insult Raila, receiving their mandazi, eggs and other gifts like yams is over. Get that in your head. The faster you do that, the better. 
This post attracted more views, more reaction from the comment section. And I just want this opportunity to go through some of the comments that was posted also or reacted to Mohamed Tuku's post. And this is what people commented there. Nadiana, this is what Nadiana said. You can't breach security and expect to be babysitted, but his documents were well received. But Mohamed Tuku also replied to that. Oh, now there is breach of security. How about when they were picking up their babies and they sitting them on car rooftop? So now the difference has come here between now when you are breaching the security, you have to be dealt with. By the time Ruto was taking their babies up on rooftop of cars, giving them mic to insult Raila and other people, there was no problem. This is what Kirugu said. What would happen if the guy got there and then actually produced a gun? If you want to know how serious that is, attempt such as a stunt on outgoing president Uhuru Kenyatta tomorrow. We see Tutakuja Kuona Kukuona Hospital. Another one, James, this is what James said. Kirugu, Kirugu Tuku, Kwani Wakati wa campaign hamu kuwa mnajua anaweza kufa. Akipea watu chapona kuinua watoto, hamu kujua mtu anaweza toa gun. Yet he has he was still the deputy president. That is respond to what this guy posted. Another one from Nyangas. Kirugu Tuku. Akikalia Wilbaro Akidance Hakua na wasiwasi the rider anaweza kuwa na gun. Ama cause alikuwa campaign. Okay. Linda Mudon, this is what she said. Look at Gachagwa with his spilling inad, not moved at all, intact disgust written all over his face. Eti, to any takataka hapa. You can see the reaction. Another one from Omondi. The hustlers forgot campaign are over and the chief hustler and the people around him are no longer interested in PR antic. antics. Look at Gachagwa's face. He has laughed. Ndungu has also commented. Regard the look disgusted. Karibu atapike hustlers kumkaribia. <laughs> Another one from Simon. Hustlers are only important when voting and paying taxes to government. Is good. We just listen also to these people when they give their comment rather than just analyzing things here. Nyambus Gashafu Ame Gashafu Ame Mwangalia Kama Ame Ona Mafi. Really, that's the truth if you look on the Gachagba's reaction. Another one from Kiri Maili. And just like that, those who didn't vote for him. Will become will be commenting on the highest table as hustlers. Watch, watch, Kiraitu, Kiraitu etc. Another one from Wanjiku Simon. The security of the fifth president is paramount. Another one here from Robert Rotich. Notwithstanding your first sentence is good, it confirms that Ruto Ruto's presidency has. Began. Another one from Honorable Ki promote bet. You have and you have under this this one right. Ruto is the president. Will Uhuru Kenyatta hand over? That's a question. Another one from Kinutia. Mama 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 Cabbage should next should they next wait to be a millionaire. <laughs> Another one from revolutionist Wambu Wambua Kidokila. It was a Piara stint at calling him hustler to win Gulliba votes. 
and after election, even before swearing in, amewa sahau, you will live to regret choice have consequences. Another one from Ross Ndinda, responding to Homer Tuk, I wish you had described this incident in your normal fashion. A hustler tried to get closer to Ruto to deliver papers as they were doing during campaigns. He was handed, tackled, and beaten like Burkeng <laughs> by Ruto security and taken away. I support how I love that engagement. Those are the views people are reacting to Ahometuku's post. So you can draw the difference between William Ruto who was campaigning and the current William Ruto as the deputy president elect. So if we have people who are thinking that Ruto is going to form the Hustlers government, he should forget as of now in case the Supreme Court is going to appeal the Bukati results. In case Ruto is going to become your president, forget the issue of the Mamboga government. Just look on how Ruto has handled the hustler. The voter expected that the way, the same way Ruto treated the electorate when they were looking for votes, is the same way Ruto is going to accept the people he has referred to as hustlers. Is the same way Ruto is going to treat them. Is the same way Ruto is going to embrace them. But things do change. And yes, things are changing. In as much Ruto received the fire, but he did not reprimand his security to stop harassing the people he has referred to as. Hustlers. Kama mtu anasema ya kwamba maybe the person delivering a fight to William Samuel Ruto might have a bad motive towards him. Then the question is, kwa nini hawa watu wako na bad motive towards Ruto, yet Ruto was the deputy president and again he was a competent presidential candidate, a what competitor to Raila Molo Dinga. Kwa nini hawa wako na second thought? Because this was a person who could easily become the president. Why not talk about the person might have a bad motive towards William Ruto? Those are just being defensive statements. <laughs> so, if you are voting for someone expecting that he is going to form a government of equality, thinking that he will put you on the table as a hustler, forget. There will be no difference Michael would think of from what Uhuru Kenyatta has done to William Samuel Ruto government, if he will be the president. Because Ruto was part of the first government, we have seen how Ruto was treating hustlers as the deputy president. Ruto had superior powers in 2013, the first formation of the Bili government, after he was handed over half of that government, when he had at the center of controlling the government. He had immense power to do so many things. So you should look at William Ruto during that time, how he treated the people as he has been referring to other hustlers, and then you can easily conclude and tell what William Samuel Ruto can do if he becomes the next president of the Republic of Kenya. So you can tell what you should anticipate for. That is the kind of a leader we might have in this country just if this election is going to be upheld. So guys, I don't know what to think about this, but I want to listen to your views concerning the treatment of the person who has been referred as a hustler by the security protecting William Samuel Ruto, the chief hustler, the way he has always referred to himself. So let us meet in the comment section to have a continuation of this conversation. For those who don't have my number, my WhatsApp number is plus 254, the code, plus 254, 795-9580-63. 0795-9580-63. Sorry for the noise, but see you in our next video.